Welcome back to Security Onion Essentials. This is our final session and uh, just wanted to wrap the course up with reviewing what we went through as well as some final thoughts. So we started off the course with an introduction to Security Onion, uh, the platform itself, as well as the multiple different ways that you can deploy and use Security Onion. We then actually went in and installed Security Onion in part one and part two. Part one was downloading the ISO, verifying it, and then running through the operating system install. Part two was logging back into that virtual machine and running through the Security Onion setup itself. The session after that was looking at an introduction to the analyst tools. There are a number of analyst tools uh, inside Security Onion that you could really dig into. And I just wanted to give you a real brief introduction of where to find those tools and a little bit about each of them. The next three sessions, we actually dug into a number of those analyst tools, looking at three really common workflows in Security Onion. The first one being alert triage and case creation. We looked at the alert queue in the Security Onion console and uh, we escalated an alert to the hive and created a case from it. Uh, we also dismissed and acknowledged a few different alerts based on the fact that uh, they just weren't relevant to our organization. The second workflow was ad hoc hunting. We spent quite a chunk of time working through how to find evil in your organization without actually starting from an alert. Instead, we started asking questions and sliced and diced our data using the Security Onion Console Hunt interface and found some really interesting things using that interface. The final workflow was detection engineering. We talked through the detection engineering process and then actually implemented that using the playbook application in Security Onion. Even though it sounds like a lot of things that we went through, we really just barely scratched the surface on Security Onion throughout all of these different aspects. And I would encourage you to take the next step and actually implement Security Onion in your environment. And when you do that, you'll probably run into some issues that you may have questions for and not sure where to go. And that's why I wanted to remind you of where to get help. Start out with securityonion.net slash help. That will redirect you to a web page on our documentation that will give you some ideas of where to go. Our documentation has extensive uh, information on all the different components. It also has a FAQ. If you can't find your answer there on our documentation, then feel free to post on our community support forum on GitHub discussions. Finally, there is also paid support available from Security Onion Solutions. You can find that information on our documentation if you go to securityonion.net slash help. Speaking of that, if you do need professional services, securityonionsolutions.com is here to help. We provide training, consultation, as well as hardware for your environment. Please feel free to reach out, securityonionsolutions.com. Now, final thoughts. Congratulations, you've completed Security Onion Essentials. I know it's been uh, quite a bit of content and I appreciate you sticking with me throughout it. If you like the course, please feel free to tweet about it and add us at Security Onion on Twitter. Finally, 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 get out there and find that evil. Get Security Onion implemented in your environment. Peel back those layers, find that evil, and make your adversaries cry. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.